Hello and welcome, my name is Jasmine. This is a introduction video to your mobile itinerary Canva template. This template has a lot going on, so we're gonna go through in this video how to add pages, how to delete pages. We're going to be looking at the pre-built hyperlinks, how to adjust those hyperlinks, how to download and what the finished product actually looks like. So if you have purchased this template from my Etsy store, a heartfelt thank you very much for your support in my store and my small business. It means the world and I appreciate you so much. If you have, however, randomly come across this template on the internet and you're not sure what I'm talking about, I'm going to include a link in the description below. So let's jump into your Canva template. So when you open up your template, this is what you are going to be looking at. You're going to be looking at either the 22 or 23 page itinerary template. Um, this template is my bestseller and it is the one that you most likely have in front of you. So we're going to be using this as our example today. So what we're going to do to start with is we're going to have a look at our grid view. So our grid view is to access our grid view. We're looking at the bottom right hand corner. It's got four little squares and when we hover over it, it says grid view. When we click that grid view is just basically giving us a bird's eye view of our document as a whole. So what we are going to do to start with is we are going to be amending this template in a working example to a seven day itinerary. So what we need to do is we need to add a few pages, delete a few pages, and then also work on our hyperlinks as well. So where we're going to start is we're going to add some pages. Now, the easiest way to add a page is to duplicate it. So what we're going to do is we got our day one, two, three, four, five, and then 14. So what we are going to be doing is we need to add um, we need to add a day six and we need to change day 14 to a day seven. So the easiest way to, as I said, to add a page is to duplicate it. So we're going to go to day five and we're going to close our grid view. So again, the bottom right hand corner and that takes us to our page five. So what we are going to do to duplicate is we are using this little plus in the top corner and all that that does is that just duplicates our page entirely. So it takes over the layout, the formatting, but it also takes the hyperlinks, which is the most important part. So what we are going to do, so we've got two day fives. So we need to change this just at a high level, changing this to day six. And then obviously this is your template. It is 100% customizable. You can change the text, the layout, everything that's written here. You add your own traveler tip, add your own website, change your colors, change the photos, everything like that. This template is 100% customizable. Um, so you go ahead and you do all of that to get it to look and present how you like. So we've got our day six. So we've got day five day six and now we need a day seven so we're just going to change this one to say seven so if we come back to our grid view which is our high level what you can see is we've got day four day five day five and then day 14 so for this one we're going to change day five to day six and all that we're doing to access that is we're just hovering over and clicking it, which enables us to actually be able to edit. And then that's our day seven. So now what we are going to do is the other place that we actually have to make our amendments is page eight, which is our daily schedule. So if we click on day eight and then come back and close our grid view, it will zoom us in and take us to our daily schedule. So you can see we've got day eight through to day 14 that we don't need. So we are just deleting those. So you're just clicking and deleting twice, or you can click and then hit delete on your keyboard twice. So we're just gonna get rid of all of those. And then to make it look like it's meant to be there, all that we're gonna do is we're gonna click on day one and we're gonna use our arrow in the corner and we're just going to drag this out to roughly the edge of the house to make it look like it's meant to be there. Now, Canva is really handy. It gives us these grid 
so that we know that all of our boxes are the same size. So we're just going to drag all of these out. And that's what our page is going to look like. So go back to our bird's eye view. Now it looks like it's meant to be there. And it also matches in with the look of our table of contents where they are all the way across the page as well. So now that we have duplicated our page, if, for example, you wanted to delete a page, and I'll just quickly show you this. Say, for example, if you ended up changing it from a day seven to a six day itinerary, the duplication and delete are almost right beside each other. So to delete the page, you can just click the little delete button here or from our bird's eye view, if it's easier for you to work to actually see it, you can hover and click these three dots here. And again, you can either duplicate or delete the page from this view as well. So whichever way works easier for you. Now we're going to move on to our hyperlinks. So as I mentioned before, there are heaps and heaps of hyperlinks already built into this document. And when you go through and you start changing the pages around, what we need to do is we need to actually go through and slightly adjust the hyperlinks to make sure that the document is beautifully optimized and does everything that you expect it to. So the main part that we actually go to do that now is back to page eight, which is our daily schedule and particularly to those pages that we just made those amendments to. So day one through to day five already have the hyperlinks built for you. And the way that you can tell that is when you click on, say for example, day five, you have this little edit link, but it's telling you that it is taking you to 15. So that is page number 15 in the document, which is day five. So what we're going to do is we're going to do exactly the same thing and that's going to be added to page six, uh, to day six. So all that we're doing is we are clicking on six, we are right clicking and we are using our link. So when we click on our link, what we are doing is we are then going through and we're looking for page six in our document. So the way that we find page six is we use this little scroll down and we scroll all the way down to where we can see day six. So this is why it was important for us to go and actually rename our page so that we can accurately find page six. So there's our day six and then we're clicking done and that has put in our, uh, that has enabled our link. So again, we're going to do the same with day seven and just a little note too, to make it look consistent, all that I've done is when we click on this is a hyperlink, whenever you add a link into Canva, it automatically underlines the text. To get rid of that, we're just clicking and we're using our underline up the top here and we're just clicking that off. So that is just purely taking away that line that is going nothing to the hyperlink itself. It's just more an aesthetics thing. So to add in day seven's link, again, we are right clicking, we're going to link and then we are scrolling down and we are looking for our day seven, day five, day six, day seven here. And then we're clicking done. And again, we are just going up to the U for the underline and we're just clicking off that. So that is how we've just added our hyperlinks to our new page six and our amended page seven. Okay, so now what we are going to do from here is just take a quick bird's eye view I think that that was everything that I wanted to walk through that. Now, um, another question that I actually get a lot through my Etsy messages is how to download this particular itinerary so that the links work. Now, this is something that uh, the links will only work if your document is downloaded as a PDF. If you download it as anything else, say for example, an image, the hyperlinks in your document won't work. So it needs to be a PDF. So you can either download it on your, on your desktop, on your computer, download it, and then a workaround is you can email it to yourself. If you have access on your phone to your emails, email it to yourself, 
and then access the itinerary on your mobile through your inter uh, through your email on your mobile phone, save it on your phone. The easier way is to actually download it directly from the Canva app. So if you go into the app store, get the Canva app, download it onto your phone and then what you can do is you can go into your finished itinerary and hit the download button in the Canva app and it'll download it directly onto your phone. So either way, you're getting it onto your mobile phone. Now, I wanted to show you a finished version of the itinerary. So let me just put that onto our screen here. So this is what the itinerary looks like when it is finished. So as you can see, you can easily scroll through it like you would a website on your mobile phone. So it is a really beautiful finish when you're actually done. And then here we are getting to our pages. So what we're going to do is we can hit our home icon, which, as I said, will take you back to your table of contents. So here we are at our table of contents, and then you can use that to easily navigate around the itinerary itself. So here we are using our attractions. So it brings us to our attractions page. And then if we hit our home icon and go back to our table of contents, and say if we wanted to look at our packing list, our packing list is our very last page. Hit our home icon to go back to the start. So the hyperlinks really make it a very user-friendly experience. And then same with your daily schedule. So we can go ahead, that day five that we've just added, we can go ahead and actually add that back to our, let me bring that back. We can go ahead and bring that into our template so that it is user friendly and it looks beautiful and it does what you want it to do. So remember downloading, you're downloading as a PDF and a PDF will now enable you to easily navigate through the home icon as well as each of the individual buttons in the daily schedule and the table of contents. So the other question that I actually had very recently was around, can I print this itinerary? Yes, you can print it. So when you have your itinerary as a PDF, you can print a PDF as you would a normal document. Just keep in mind that it will print at the mobile phone size. So um, I was thinking about this, perhaps if you cut the itinerary out and had the little mobile phone size itinerary, in a printed version, that would be an option for you as well. So that is everything that I wanted to show you in this short introduction video. I hope that you absolutely love your template. It was a pleasure putting it together. And I hope that this video has helped you to get through some of those basic editing. But that is everything from me for now, guys. So thank you very much and enjoy. Bye.